Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you my new favorite throttle lock mechanism on Edge TX, and I'm going to show you how to configure it on a RadioMaster Boxer. First, let me walk you through how it works. I've got the output screen active, and you can see I've got channel 3 highlighted. That's my throttle stick, and we can see the output is 988. And as I move my stick up and down, that output doesn't change. It stays on 988. Now, with certain conditions met, I'm going to go ahead and arm the model. I'll press down on my arm switch, and as I move the stick, you can see my output right here is increasing and decreasing as I move the stick up and down. Okay, so that's armed. Now I'll disarm the model, and as I move the stick up and down, you can see the output no longer changes. That's a typical throttle lock, right? Well, let me show you what's so cool about this one. My arming switch is right here on the top left, and that is SE, and this is a latching switch. It's just like a toggle switch. So if I press on the SE switch and latch it, that's down, and if I press it again, it pops back up, okay? So that's the switch I'm using up top. Now, the magic in this happens in that the arm and disarm can only occur when the throttle stick is down at the bottom. So so this is my throttle stick, and what I'm going to do is put the throttle stick in the middle, and I'm going to try and arm the plane. Obviously, that's a bad idea because if your throttle stick's in the middle and you arm the plane, the motor will spin up and take off, and that's bad. We don't want that to happen necessarily. Maybe you do, but in case you don't, keep watching. So you can see right here, the output is still 988, and no matter what I do with that stick, it stays 988 unless I come all the way down to zero first, and now I'm down to zero, I can move the stick up, and we see motion on the output, okay? Now the same thing happens in reverse. If I go ahead and press SE again, you can see that that should normally disarm the model, but as I move the stick, it's still changing the output. See, there's all the way up at 2012, and here's down at 1,366. So I can still have control over the model, even though I've disarmed it. And what will end up happening now is it won't actually disarm until the stick is moved all the way down to the bottom. Now that the stick's all the way down at the bottom, if I move it up again, you can see I have no change in the output. So that means the throttle is locked. Let me show you how I did it. But first, for you electronics gurus and tinkers out there, check out PCBWay.com. PCBWay has a full suite of services available to make your ideas a reality, including PCB manufacturing and assembly, CNC machining, 3D printing, and injection molding. When you're ready to order, PCBWay provides instant quotes, real-time production tracking, and you can order as few as five boards at a time, which is great for early stage projects. If you need an experienced partner to help bring your ideas to life, check out PCBWay.com. I have a link in the description if you'd like to give them a look. The configuration for this is actually very simple. There's only a few lines that we have to set up, and we're going to start by making logical switches. The first logical switch I used is L01. You can use any one you want. It doesn't matter. The number is immaterial. Just the logic has to be replicated here. So I used L01, and my setting is A is less than X, and the input, I'm looking at the input throttle, and I want that to be less than 98. So what happens is when I move my stick all the way down to the bottom, you can see L01 goes active. So I'm interested when the stick is in the down position for both arming and disarming. I want it to be all the way down for arm, and I want it to be all the way down for disarm. The next thing we're going to do is set up another logical switch, L04, and this is a simple AND switch. L04 goes active when SE is down and L01 is active. So what that means is when I push this SE switch into the down position and we look at L04, because my throttle stick is below 98, so I have SE down and L01 is the second condition, that means L04 is active. If I move my throttle stick above 98, see L01 went off and L04 went off because L01 is no longer true. Right, so this is an AND switch. All the AND switch does is says, if SE is down and L01 is active, then L04 is true. That's all it says. Let's take a look at it in the edit screen. So in the edit screen, the function is AND. V1 is SE down and V2 is L01. That's it, that's simple. So again, L my stick is all the way down, L04 goes active. You see how that's bold right there? So I have SE down and L01. Okay, that's condition number one. We're interested in when that happens because that allows us to arm. The second condition is when SE is up. So when SE is moved to the disarm position by pressing down and releasing SE, now L05 is active. So SE is now up and L01 is lit because my stick is below 98. If I move my stick up, L05 is no longer active. 
If I move my stick down, L05 is now active. Now the last thing to do is make a simple little sticky switch. All the sticky switch says on L06 is L04 to turn it on and L05 to turn it off. That's it. Remember, a sticky switch is like a light switch on the wall. You can either be up or down. And these are the two switches that determine L06's state. If L04 goes active, L06 will light. If L05 goes active, L06 will turn off. So all I'm gonna do now is arm the model. I'm gonna bring my stick all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna press the arm switch up top. And when I do that, you can see L06 goes active. So L04 was just activated and L06 will stay that way until L05 goes active. So now I can move my stick and fly the plane. We'll go back to the outputs page so you can see the output real quick. So I, I've got control over the throttle channel right now, it's moving. So L06 stays active until L05 happens. Now to make L05 happen, we have to move our stick all the way down to the bottom and then we have to release the SE switch. So I release that and press up, L05 goes active. When that happens, it switches that sticky to the other position and L06 is no longer active. So if we look at my outputs page on channel three, when I move that stick, we no longer see output. Now, the logical switches are only part of the answer. We still have to take action from the output of this logic. And we do that in the special function page. So the way I've got this set up is we're using the not. Now this one's kind of hard to see on the screen, but that's exclamation L06. And what this means is when L06 is not lit, that's when we're doing an override on channel three to a value of negative 100. Also note that I have when not L06, meaning when L06 is not active, I wanna play the track disarmed. And when L06 is active, I wanna play the track armed. That's it for the special function. So I'll move the highlight out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and arm it and you'll see what happens on the special function page. When the radio starts, we're gonna be not L06. So not L06 is active because I have this switch set to the up position and it doesn't matter where my throttle is. So that's where we're gonna start. Now that means not L06, so L06 is off. Now we're gonna go ahead and arm the aircraft by moving the stick to the down position and activating the SE switch. Then we do that, armed plays, and we are now active. That override is gone. So now I go out and fly the plane, and when I'm done flying and I'm ready to disarm the model, I bring the stick all the way down to the zero position, and I press the SE button again, disarm. and you can see now we've got an override on channel three with a value of negative 100. There are two other recommendations I'd make if you use this technique. The first one is to incorporate the correct switch for your timer and your pre-flight check. So we'll go over to model setup, and under setup, Notice that I've used under my timer, I have THT, that's my throttle stick, and the AND switch for that is L06. Remember, when that's live, we're active, so that will start the timer. And the second thing we want to do is check the condition of that E switch. You want to make sure that's in the up position when this model is loaded. So all you have to do to do that is highlight the S warning, go over to E, and just press the jog dial a couple of times until you have E in the right condition. So E up, that's where we want to start when this model is loaded. Well, there you go. There's a very capable throttle lock for Edge TX that you can use on your boxer radio. And of course, this will work on color screen radios as well. But I do all kinds of videos on color screen. I thought we'd do one on a black and white target to give those folks a little love too. Hope you liked the content. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know a new material hits the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right about now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and get out there and fly something.